if the Supreme Court has any intellectual honesty, we feel that they'll side with our lawyers and with us. Taking a fight to the highest court. We feel that the OTA is rushing this project through just like they did with a Kickapoo because they know they're unauthorized and they're trying to get it done before someone can legally stop them. Citizens who fought this battle for months say after today. I feel really confident. With the city of Norman on their side, they say they'll continue to fight. We were there on day one. Uh, council a thousand percent is behind all the citizens. We voted together for the first time, I think in a long time, that we all agreed that this is a fight that was worth fighting. Citizens argued the turnpike plans are, quote, bogus, wrong, unnecessary, and unjustified. The attorney for the city of Norman said he felt this was an issue of power. OTA wouldn't comment today other than the arguments they presented to the court. They say the only limits to their power are what the legislature authorizes. And in this case, they claim the turnpikes have been authorized. The Supreme Court's representative asked the turnpike authority's attorney if it would be possible to issue the bonds for all the turnpikes except that controversial Southern Extension turnpike. He said that would be a possibility. But citizens say that's not enough. Our fear is if we only take out one, that they'll still have money and resources to work on these until they go back to the legislature and get it actually authorized. So win or lose, citizens say the fight continues until the next legislative session where they can introduce bills to protect future turnpike plans.